Welcome everybody, it is Dan here with the Javelin Modeling Network. And before I get right into the content of the video, if you're new here, would you mind clicking that subscribe button below right now? We'll be churning out more awesome modeling content in the future. And the clicking the subscribe button is free, so you might as well do that. So, anyway... Today I'm going to be adding some more cars to my Hot Wheels collection, so might as well bring this update to light before I get out all the modeling, all the build series. So, start off with Matchbox, which is a basically Hot Wheels, but I digress. We have here the 1956 Aston Martin and the 1970 Plymouth Cuda right here. And first off, the Plymouth Cuda, I do not like the color. The casting is cool, but the color is a little weird. I don't know if that's a true Mopar color, or is it just something Matchbox did. I would like in a... Plum Crazy Purple or the or regular orange that Mopar is known for. Now, continuing on to the Aston Martin DBR1. I like this car because it's, it's like the Aston Martin that Shelby won the 24 Hours of Le Mans in. And it looks good. I like the paint job with the flex in it. It's nice and shiny. But it doesn't look proportionate to the real thing. It seems like it, the body was stretched a little. You see, my brother has a different casting of it that is a little squeezed together. So it goes a little higher, these curves. And it looks better. So this casting is okay. Looks good. I don't mind putting it into my collection. So oh, continuing on, when I was, I was peg hunting, I found this McLaren P1. You see, I do like McLarens, the good, good old British cars. As you can, saw from my McLaren Senna that I had, the McLaren P1, they made whole carbon fiber bodied cars of it. It's nice. Yeah, the casting is really nice. It just seems like the front lip, the front spoiler is has a little space between it and the body. Uh, other than that, it looks really nice. Now, f last on my list for today, I got Fast and Furious Diorama bundle right here. With the Supra 1970 Dodge Charger. A Volkswagen. Is it a Scirocco? No, it's just a Jetta Mark II. With the body kit on it. And the hauler right here. Overall, really nice. They have rubber wheels. They're full on metal. Yeah, they're, they have some a good weight to them. Well modeled too. I like Hot Wheels cars like these. I have a few collections of those Hot Wheels Culture Club ones. And I'm actually looking to get in the Hot Wheels Redline Club soon. So stay tuned and I'll tell you if I get into it or not. But Volkswagen is cool. And, but my favorite of the bunch is the 1970 Dodge Charger. I don't, I haven't watched Fast and Furious before, but the cars are pretty cool. See the supercharger coming out of the hood? It's nice. It's really nice. Well, if you're still here, might as well subscribe. And this is Dan with the Javelin Modeling Network, signing off.